just staying up high going in the corner. He's not following the truck, the truck in front of him. Don't know what's going on there. Whoa! Oh, look out! We got trouble. This is going to hurt. Uh-oh. Oh, my. Yep. Keep your fingers crossed. It was so good for so long, it turned into so bad so quickly. We'll be back to see what happened. Uh, and as I said, keep your fingers crossed, folks. Where are they coming? Play. We may have spectators injured as well on the fencing. They've torn the fence down, so we want to fix that. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, right down here. Jill, this is going to be a long one. Do a, tr do a truck count, please. Okay. Watch that back up, Ray. Right there. Kurt Busch. Boom. It's, it's just put on. Back at Daytona International Speedway at the inaugural running of the Daytona 250, we are under a red flag situation after a nine-vehicle crash on the tri-oval involving uh, Jeffrey Bodine and the most serious element uh, of the crash. We're waiting for word from medical officials and NASCAR officials on Jeffrey's condition. We will certainly not speculate. It was a horrific crash. Now, this is... Just a few seconds ago, there, look at Jeff. He's moving his arms. That is the best news we could give you. He's moving that uh, bag, and so Jeffrey is alert, at least and conscious, and able to move. I don't know about you guys, but I'm breathing a little bit better right now. Well, me too. That was a horrific-looking wreck, but what a testament to the safety of these vehicles. Unbelievable, isn't it, Ben? I'm telling you, you folks, this is about as... just about as bad a crash in a stock car as you'll ever see in your life. The, the truck just disintegrated pieces going every place but the roll cage stayed intact where the driver sits stayed intact and bounced across the racetrack now we, we want to so show you just how much it came apart that is the motor and there is the place where it ended up and then this is about 250 to 300 feet back to where what's left of the truck now, there was contact with the catch fence, and that is the damage that is there. We do not know if there are any injuries to any spectators in the stands. But obviously, this fence will have to be repaired before NASCAR will allow these trucks to, re to continue this race. Meanwhile, all the other competitors, and you see another angle of the, the work being done on the catch fence in the tri-oval. The other competitors are stopped far from pit lane. No work allowed during a red flag situation. We're going to take another commercial break. We'll be back and uh, we'll try and get some more information. As soon as it is given to us, we'll pass it along to you here at Daytona.